Hi guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be comparing fast fashion versus designer items. Yes, for fast fashion, of course, that we have H&M and Zara, and for designers, I have brands like Saint Laurent, Zimmerman, Bottega Veneta, and many more. Let's get started. So let's get started with the first item. The first item that I have to compare is skinny jeans. And I chose from fast fashion, these ones from Zara. These ones are high rise. They are the ankle length. So they just sit above your ankle and they're super high waisted. I love the color of these jeans. I personally love Zara jeans. My only complaint is that the sizing is pretty tricky. So yeah, uh, yeah, I don't like their sizing. It's not accurate at all. And the other con that I have is that I don't like this label that they put here on the jeans. I get it on Levi's jeans, but I don't get it on other kind of jeans. So. These ones that I have are size 38, US 6. They don't look that they're going to fit, but we will see. For designer item, I do have these skinny jeans these ones are Saint Laurent brand I highly recommend these ones you have seen these on my past hauls I am living in these ones you have no idea they have the perfect length I love the high waist design I love everything they're super comfortable all right so now I'm gonna try both for you okay guys so these are the Sarah jeans and of course they're super super skinny and they fit oh my gosh they fit even better right <laughs> but you know what i love Sarah jeans i think that they have good quality and yes they fit really really good when they fit okay because their sizing is not accurate i am typically size two or four on jeans or size 27 and in this case i needed to size up to size eight is that right no to size six which is size 38 and european size and that gives me the length and it gives me room to breathe <laughs> overall i love sarah jeans and in comparison with designer jeans let me tell you something i think it's the same okay so if you're buying denim that is designer you're buying the brand and i'm just talking about sarah i'm not talking about any other fast fashion brand i cannot compare forever 21 for instance forever 21 their quality is awful but from zara of course that i'm obsessed with them and asian and i'm just impressed with their quality of their clothing right yeah, it's pretty cheap it's not designer brands but i mean i think that their prices and their designs are pretty competitive just saying and these are my saint laurent skinny jeans that i am obsessed with them in fact they see me and they want to run away because i wear them all the time guys they're super comfortable I love the, you know, the design. I love the wash. I love the length. I love everything about these jeans. I'm obsessed with these ones. You have no idea. And I bought them on sale. They are designer, Saint Laurent, and I feel really, really good on them. Of course, I'm gonna prefer these ones over all the jeans that I have in my closet. <laughs> okay moving on with the designer item that we're going to compare and I do have a Zimmerman dress I love Zimmerman dresses they're so cute and they're so feminine and they have the highest quality like seriously I got this on sale as well <laughs> and it's so so cute I love the ruffle design I love the color and that's one thing the Zimmerman dresses have is that all the dresses, they have the highest quality and they have lining, right? Here you go. They have lining and they're super, super cute. This one that I bought is size zero and I love, love the design. So now I'm going to show you the fast fashion items 
dresses that I'm going to compare against uh, this uh, dress, okay? So, unfortunately, I couldn't find a similar dress to this one. So, I chose one that I thought was going to be like the same color. And when I opened the box and I saw it, I was like, oh, this is not even close. <laughs> and the dress that I'm talking about is this one from Zara. And there is no comparison to the Zimmerman dress. This one has a ruffle, yes, it has the concept of the ruffle, but the dress, this one is more like purplish type of color, right? And the fabric in comparison with the Zimmerman, I mean, come on, there is no comparison. This is just, I don't know what kind of fabric is this, maybe cotton, but very cheap cotton. And as you can see, the quality is a very poor. It doesn't have any lining. The dress is cute, don't get me wrong, but look at this, it's super wrinkly, it's like a piece of fabric with ruffles, like seriously, and it's oversized, and right now for some reason Sarah dresses are pretty expensive here in the US. Before were $69.90, now they increase their prices to $89.90, so they increase $20 per dress, which is kind of crazy right for a set of dress this one in particular is $45.90 and honestly I'm gonna be returning this dress because the quality is super poor so you cannot even compare the two dresses right because the fabric is uh, not the same and the similar dress has a lining and it has this beautiful details of lace and ruffle and this one is just like a meh <laughs> dress right <laughs> yeah okay this is probably my fault and probably we're not comparing apples with apples but let me tell you something okay so you won't see this kind of you know finishes on a designer dress can you see it the threads this you won't see it right so that's the difference between fast fashion and designer so designer they just take care of even the smaller detail to be fair enough i have an H&M dress that I can compare to the Zimmerman one and this one is a, a like design of a Korean Zimmerman dress. Zimmerman dress goes for like a thousand dollars and this one from H&M goes for less than a hundred. I think this one is, do I have the price here? No. I think this one is $69.90, it's like $70, but for that price, you have a beautiful dress. So between H&M and Zara, I think H&M has better quality right now, yeah. And of course, from H&M to Zimmerman, of course, Zimmerman is the winner. This one from H&M is a beautiful dress. I have the black color and I just got this one. It's so cute. And look at this. It has these details that a similar dress has. So it's so cute. So well made as well. And this one has a lining, right? And the dress is linen. All right, so now I'm gonna be trying the three dresses for you. Okay guys, so this is a Chara dress on and it's cute. It's pretty cute, however, it doesn't have any lining, right? So you need to take care of that because it's a little bit see-through. And this dress is oversized, okay? So I feel that it's kind of unfair because this dress is... It has the same vibe with the ruffle detail and the color, the pastel color. However, it's, it's not the same design. But, okay, to be honest with you, it's a cute dress. But you can tell that the fabric is pretty cheap and honestly i don't like that it's pretty loose i think if i choose to wear this one i will wear it with a belt just to emphasize my waist and that will look better i'm pairing it with bottega veneta heels and loe bag overall it's a cute dress but you don't have that level of sophistication, right? Than a uh, same amount dress. Guys, I'm losing light here, 
but this is the Semano dress and of course that I love it. I love it, obsessed with this one. And this was on sale. So I'm just going to leave the link of the description box below in case that you're interested. It's so cute, so feminine. It has this lace and these details, puffy sleeves, of course, but they're not in your face. Like overall, the dress is just so feminine and it's not loud or it's on your face. It's just the right proportions, okay? This type of dresses accentuates my waist. I am size zero two US sizes and this Timmerman dress is size zero and it fits like a glove. I think that it's unfair to compare this dress with the Sarah one. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a similar dress from a Sarah that looks like a Zimmerman dress. The only one that I found was the H&M dress. That's the one that I'm gonna show you next. Dress on and yes, in comparison with the Sarah dresses, I prefer H&M. H&M has better quality on dresses right now than Sarah, definitely. And they're way cheaper than Sarah. In comparison with a Zimmerman, well, guess what? I think the quality is pretty similar. This one is a linen, it has some lining, and it has these Zimmerman light kind of details, right? This dress, the only con is that you're showing cleavage. I can cover with, um, tank top or a uh, slit underneath. I love the puffy sleeves and it has really good quality. And that's what we're talking about, right? So from a Zimmerman dress versus an H&M dress for this particular design, I will go with the H&M dress, with this dress, because you can buy it for, I think this dress is 70 or $80 versus a similar dress that is like 300, 500 if it's on sale, but you know that similar dress can go up to a thousand dollars. So yeah, especially this dress, Zimmerman has similar design and it goes for above a thousand dollars. And by the so, way, if you see this, I went to the beach this weekend. And guess what? I forgot to buy sunblock in that particular spot. And now I have a burn spot over there. I know, so annoying. <laughs> All right, the next item that I have is a pair of sandals. And these ones are so in. And I'm gonna show you the designer ones First. So the first ones that I have, designer brand, is at this one Saint Laurent. And you already saw these ones on one of my previous hauls. But I'm just gonna unbox them again for you because we're gonna compare these ones versus fast fashion, okay? So, of course, we're gonna be comparing my beautiful Saint Laurent sandals that are so gorgeous and so comfortable. These ones are true to size and I was looking for them everywhere and I found them and I found them on sale. And these ones look gorgeous with dresses and shorts and pants and everything. So yeah, I love them so much. And these are one of my favorites and probably you're gonna be complaining because I'm touching the sole. I don't care, okay? <laughs> um, but yeah. These ones are the Saint Laurent. Highly recommend these ones. And the ones that we're gonna compare against with are these ones from Zara. And I will probably going to be returning this because I'm pretty happy with my Saint Laurent. But I tried to choose ones that are similar to the Saint Laurent. These ones are from Zara and they're pretty cute. They're pretty cute and they look similar, but you can tell that the quality from Solaren versus Sara is, is definitely different. Okay. All right, so now I'm just gonna try this for you, just to give you my feedback and my first impression of these ones. Okay guys, so these are the Sara sandals. They are Super comfortable guys, super comfortable. They're pretty cute. My only concern is that this is not leather. 
it's plastic so yeah that's going to warm out pretty soon but for the season yeah, they're okay mm -hmm. yes i like them here are the san lauren sandals and of course that i'm obsessed with this one <laughs> Yes, I wear them all the time and they're super, super cute. And once that you break them in, the leather is super smooth and they're so, so comfortable, guys. Yes, and you know that you're buying high quality sandals. You have leather on the upper, leather on the soles, and they're going to last you forever. All right, guys, so last but not least, I have another pair of shoes. And of course, I'm gonna start with designer heels because these are a nice pair of heels. And these ones are Bottega Veneta. These ones that I bought are $150 cheaper than the Bottega Veneta store. They are authentic. They're just a store that are selling Bottega Veneta heels. And I don't know what's happening. I think it was Neta Porter where I bought them and I just I just bought them so of course you have seen them and I'm obsessed with this one I had them under my radar for a long time and I just pulled the trigger and I think that I'm gonna buy the black color as well but these ones that we're going to compare are the white sandals they're so cute and so amazing and Honestly, these are the most comfortable shoes ever. So, the soles, you can see that they have this, so you are not, you know, slipping down, so you don't fall on your butt. <laughs> and these are through to size. I'm a US size seven and a half, and I bought 37 and a half, and they fit like a globe, okay? So we're going to be comparing these ones. Of course, these ones are leather and they're made in Italy. Now I'm going to be showing you the fast fashion ones. And I'm just going to put the box of the Botellas here. And I bought these Azara heels. Pretty similar, guys. And they are leather. This is how I receive them. Okay, so they're white, similar style. So we can compare apples with apples. And these are the heels. Oh, okay, they have this thing. And since I'm going to be returning this, I just cannot remove this one. So I'm just gonna be trying this on with this. But bear with me, okay? These are the heels from Sara and they have this longest strap that you can just put around the ankle They're super super cute and as you can see the style is pretty similar These ones are 100% leather. The sole is not leather. Just the upper is leather and They can smell like leather guys. Yeah, let me just put the shoes side by side so you can compare them so let's grab one of this I'm just gonna grab one of this and here you go these are the Bottega and these are the Sara ones and okay the heel of the Sara ones are smaller than the Bottega Veneta I think the Bottega Veneta are like three or four inches and these ones are more like two and a half inches right the heel yeah and honestly the Zara ones feel really like padded, so maybe they're comfortable. Yeah, these ones are super comfortable and they don't have any pad. But the Zara ones, I can feel that they're padded. Yeah, that's a good thing. This is how the soles look. Okay. All right. And. They both have the square design. Okay, like this. I mean, at the first sight, you can tell that the Bottega Veneta are more sophisticated, and these ones are more like bulky type of, you know, shoe. However, it's a pretty good shoe. 
All right, guys, so I'm just gonna try this for you and let's see how this fits. Okay, so here are the Bottega Veneta heels. They're super cute and of course, I mean, Bottega Veneta right now is so in that, yeah, I highly recommend Bottega Veneta right now and they're super comfortable. Of course, that is an investor for sure. These shoes are going to be in next season as well. So it's a good investment. Yeah, the square toe, even when they're like ugly, they're here to stay, baby. Okay, guys, so these are the Sarah heels and I'm so sorry, I'm not going to be trying this one on because I'm gonna be returning this and I don't want to, you know, unwrap this strap, so I'm sorry, bear with me, okay? So this is how they look. They're pretty cute. I love the strap here. They're so, so cute. They look like ballerina type of, you know, sandals and that's pretty, pretty cute. They are absolutely comfortable, guys. Highly recommend these ones. And these are $90, but they're leather, upper leather. The sole is not leather. Yes. My only concern is that when you're walking, I feel that this strap is going to fall down. Yeah. But overall, they're super cute. I mean, Bottega Veneta is like six times the price but you know the Bottega Veneta you buy in high quality and the brand. But if you just want to keep with the trend, these are a great option. Yeah. Okay guys, so that's all what I have. Hopefully you like this kind of video like fast fashion versus designer. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to receive notifications every time that I post a new video. And please continue watching hauls here and I see you there. Bye-bye.